Dimitri Vival, SFO Fight of the Year 2022. Let's talk about it. SFO, C. Anthony back with another video. Happy 2023. Hope everybody's having a good year so far. On deck, Dimitri Vival says he's not worried about that rematch with Canelo that we were supposed to get in 2023 at the end of the year. Says right now he's only focused on unifying the belts at 175. Vival right now has the WBA title. Also, as of November 2022, he's ranked the world's best third best active fighter pound for pound by box rec says right now he's patiently waiting for that fight he's not in a rush but he only wants to fight the fights that make sense and you can't really mention Dimitri Bivol without talking about Arthur Better BF Arthur Better BF he has the WBO the WBC and the IBF titles he's getting busy at the end of the month I think it's January 28th versus Anthony Yard I think that's gonna be a good fight right now Yard looked like he's in good shape looking big looking strong I just I'm leaning toward better BF. I see him with more skill. He definitely has the power, has the big right hand, has a good jab. Also, I like to say I think you know better BF. I think definitely top three biggest punches in boxing. A lot of power, a lot of stamina. He can whip that right hand all night from the beginning to end. So you got to have your defense up versus him. I see him with the skill. So if he can take care of business and take care of Anthony Yard. Bavall already said he wanted to get back in the ring in the spring. That'll line up perfect for them to do battle at the end. But a VF, I would say, um, definitely has the power edge. You know, um, pay attention coming up soon. Probably going to do a little breakdown on this right here. But all four belts on the line. Definitely fight of the year potential. Um, and that's also that that's his side priority. He says he's not really worrying about the Canelo fight. He says he doesn't want doesn't want that fight to dictate his future. He wants to move up and he so he's definitely top priority on unifying all four of those belts. You know, when I get into that breakdown, I get into more details on that fight on how I think the fight might go. I talk about the pros and cons for both of those fighters. But um, as for right now, I just gotta say Arthur the better be of that's a dangerous fight for anybody who step in front of him. You know, I think I talked about the power war already. I think he's smart right now. You know, 18 and 0 with 18 knockouts. I think that record kind of speaks for itself. 37 years old, a lot of amateur fights, one of the biggest punches out there. And even before he took out business versus Joe Smith Jr., he was talking about the Baval fight, you know, and unifying with the belts. I think both of those guys being um a little bit hungry and they feeling like they're not at the end of their career but like kind of in their prime getting the most shine right now this is the time you know he has three belts and Dimitri Bavall has that one belt I think that that'll be a real good fight speaking of Dimitri Bavall I definitely um S SFO we give him fight of the year for 2022 not just because he beat Canelo I think I would say the way he um the way he beat Canelo it was kind of like a nonchalant win he just had all the answers he outboxed Canelo and kind of made it look easy. I would say um, still hold Canelo in high regard. I don't take nothing away from him. I think he was, um, that was a boss move going up to 175 and trying to face Dimitri Bavall. You know, uh, still undisputed as super middleweight, has all, has all the belts. So it's a lot in Canelo's future. I would say um, I probably still have him as the pound for pound, being that he's still undisputed. And, you know, I don't think he's ducked or dodged anybody that I can talk about. You know, he had that hand surgery, and I think I said he wanted to get back in the ring coming up on, um, in May. We all know he liked that Cinco de Mayo time around that, um, that Cinco de Mayo weekend. He liked to get busy around then. You know, since um, Dimitri Bavar is not looking, he's not looking to face him in 2023. I think Canelo, you know, we've been, been over the years, we've been waiting to see him take on Charlo, maybe David Benavidez. Those would be two good fights, you know, I think um, both dangerous opponents for Canelo. You know, I think I still take Canelo hands down in both of those fights. I think um, the Benavidez fight might be a little bit more challenging dealing with the speed. You know, he has the speed and the power and the hunger and Charlo you know Charlo has the big punch he has the power punch I think Canelo might have an answer for that but it's a lot of good fights out there you know um Andrade out there to also but I think that Canelo should um just just stick to business don't worry about the Dimitri Bivol fight and defend those belts and give those other guys a shot get back in the ring also I think um January 7th Tank Davis still getting busy after all of these have been going through he said that his fight hasn't been canceled all of those abuse allegations 
you know, it's come to be false. I think his girlfriend, her spouse talked about um, the reasons why she said what she said, but it seems that have been a bunch of lies. And um, we, we gonna we gonna we gonna keep eyes on Tank Davis. Next week, I'll probably come back with a reaction video, seeing that he might. Um, this will be a big fight for him. You know, if he could take out the, if he could take out his opponent this weekend, we still got Ryan Garcia out there, and that's a good fight. That's a big fight at 135 that everybody's been waiting on to see. Tank Davis, Ryan Garcia, that's a big one. Also, Shakur Stevens got to see how he stayed busy this year. So, if you like today's content, hit that like button and subscribe. Keep your ears open. We're gonna be definitely doing a breakdown on that Dimitri Rival versus all the better BF. Like I said, fight of the year implications. Hit that like button and subscribe. Peace.